All right, so we're over here at the manifold and probe section at the NAVAC booth. Um, we've talked a lot in the past about the NX4, the Nexus. They've actually come out with a four port manifold as well. A lot of you know that like I'm not a huge fan of four port manifolds because a lot of people use them to try to full, pull vacuums through the gauge. Uh, but one thing I like about NAVAC is they allow you to do it, but they still require you to put the micron gauge at the equipment because you don't want to have an onboard micron gauge at the gauge itself. It's not going to measure accurately at all, uh, but they do allow you to use it for that purpose. Um, it's again, a great manifold. Uh, as you can see, it's coming, coming to measure quick, uh, which you know means a lot to me, but you also have the NAVAC app as well that you can connect, uh, take measurements and all of that, do delivered capacity, everything you need to do. Um, the other thing that they have now is a refrigerant valve, so an automated valve. You can use this for charging, would be the most common. Uh, you couple it with the scale. Uh, the scale is now app connected as well so that you can add a very precise amount of charge, do it slowly, do it correctly. Um, but in addition to that, you could also use it for recovery potentially as well. Um, in addition to that, this is something I'm super excited about is the probes family. The one thing I love about all of these probes is that they have an onboard display. Um, really easy to use. It has the, uh, it has the high low switcher on it. So you can switch between the low side and the high side really easily. Um, onboard charging port with just a standard USB-C, which makes it really easy to keep charged uh, compared to a lot of the other products on the market. And it also has this 45 degree which to me is huge for, for uh, pressure probes. Makes it easy to get on. Um, but I really, really do appreciate it. I've said it before. I appreciate the onboard uh, pressure because, you know, who knows? You're using an iPad, you're using your phone to connect, battery goes dead. Uh, it's really nice to have this so that you can see it. It also kind of gives you that old school, you know, tactile response. Uh, really great. Uh, the other nice thing is the large profile temperature clamps that they have as well. Same thing, you can change it between high temperature or low temperature, high side or low side, right on the uh, right on the temperature clamp. And again, onboard display. They have the more kind of regular size for your more re residential, light commercial applications as well. Uh, and then you also have your psychrometers, your induct psychrometer, same thing. It's gonna give you a display on the probe. That allows you to do, like you said, your delivered capacity, actually look at um, your delta H, what your actual change in enthalpy over your coil is, which is really, really important in cooling mode. So in our market, the ability to not only see how well it's cooling sensibly, but also how much moisture you're pulling, how much latent capacity you're getting out of the equipment. Um, and then again, they also come with these little ports so that you can charge. Because a lot of people will be like, well, how do, I, how do I charge with these things? How does that work? All you need is just a, is just a T like this. 